The celebrant, Reverend Dr. Matthew Ukwebulu, flanked by family members, and the ex summer of Benin, Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Usawa Ibnedion, Bishop Feb Idahosa, and other dignitaries, as he cut his 64th birthday cake amidst cheers. Delivering a sermon titled Celebration Follows Obedience, the guest speaker, Bishop Feb Idahosa, said, Reverend Ukwebulu is being celebrated because he is a man who obeys God's instructions. Bishop Feb Idahosa noted that a man who follows God's instruction will always be celebrated. God defines success as going from where you are to where he tells you to be. He says, if you do these things, you shall make your way prosperous and you shall have good success. In a remark, the celebrant, Reverend Matthew Ukwewolu, told the congregation that he took a decision many years ago to emulate the philanthropic gestures of the East Summer of Benin, His Excellency Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Usawaru Ibnedion, and that since then, God has been strengthening him in the business of helping the needy in the society. If you hear somebody celebrating birthday, it's a way of reaching out. That's why I love to associate with uh, this amount of universe. His birthday is September this year. He started treating people from January. You see that man have a wonderful heart. <laughs> okay, I can only do seven things. I don't feel like you. <laughs> Several institutions and individuals presented birthday gifts to the celebrant, including Ibnedion University, Okada. At the home of the chief celebrant, joy and merriment pervaded the air as all who came were adequately entertained. In an interview, the ex summer of Benin, an honorary Romanian consul to Edo and Delta States, His Excellency Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Usawa Ibnedion, and some guests described the celebrant as a rare gem who has impacted positively on the development of humanity. Each and every one of our bishops, they left their churches and to be able to identify with him. I came on the way from Abuja to be able to be here. He's a wonderful man and what he's doing need to be supported. He's sharing what God has given him. He's a wonderful man. I wish him long life, good health, God's abundant protection, in order that he can continue to do the good work. He's not just celebrating 64 years as it, but he said it's an opportunity to reach out to people the much God has given to him. I think to me, he's worthy of being celebrated as an individual. All put together, uh, he's a man that has conquered the world almost from nothing. He's a great man because uh, uh, he knows that you have to sow to reap. It's a gift to Urumi in particular. It's a gift to the people of Edo State. And it's a gift to this very generation. The celebrant, Reverend Matthew Ukwewulu, said at 64, he feels stronger than ever, while his amiable wife, Reverend Veronica Okwebulu, described her husband as God-ordained. Oh my God, a hundred times. If I have to come, I will stay married, Reverend Dr. M.A. Okwebulu, J.P. Uh, at 64, in an obscured area, I was born and brought up in this place. I never left this place. It's a special grace, born in this place, born in a uh, in this place, pastoring the church in this place, raising my children in this place. I'm still doing great in this place. So I will not travel. I'm here. That is God's handiwork. The birthday celebration of Reverend Matthew Okwewulu commenced on the 9th of June with the annual Uromi Citywide Crusade and free medical treatment for members of the public. Pius Nsogo reporting.